wow, I can tell we have some super amazing listeners in our class. Thank you to the people who sent me their um, answers for my who, what, when, and where from my memory pocket story. I was super impressed with how much detail that you remembered. So you were right. My who was Mademoiselle Carr and her four friends. What was what did we do in my memory? So we celebrated my 26th birthday. Some of you might have said that we went to the beach or we went to the Toronto Island or we petted animals. All of that is right because you're just answering the question, what happened? When was it? So impressed that you guys remembered from the story that it happened July 28th. Oh la la, mon chat Tigger est là. Tigger, au revoir. And where it happened on Toronto Island, and some people even used extra detail, and they said it happened at the petting zoo and the beach and at Scatterbush, the restaurant. Alors très bien. Now it's your turn. So your job for today is to pick um, a memory from your memory pocket list that you made, or maybe you thought of something else that you'd rather write about now, but you're gonna pick one from your memory pocket and you are going to make your very own who, what, when, and where boxes. So you don't have to write your memory story yet. We're at a very important step because the best writers, every single writer from Mo Willems all the way to Barbara Park, all the way to even the writers that write the books that your mom and dad might read, they always plan what they're going to write first. So this is your plan. So you are going to have your own answer to who is in your memory pocket story. It's probably gonna be you, but maybe there's other people who were in your memory. What is your memory about? So it might be about your fourth birthday. It might be when you lost your first tooth. It might be when you got to pet a calf at a farm. What happened in your memory? When did it happen? It's okay if you don't remember the exact day like I did. The only reason I remember is because it's my birthday. But maybe you don't remember the exact day that you went to the farm. But maybe you remember that it happened in the summertime. Or it happened in the winter. Or maybe you remember that it happened when you were a baby. But you're not sure exactly what day. That's okay. Just give me one small detail for when did it happen. And then where. Again, if you don't remember where exactly something happened, that's okay, but give a detail. Maybe you remember that your memory happened at a farm, or maybe you remember that your memory happened at your house. Maybe that's where you lost your tooth, or maybe you're thinking about when you got to play with a friend for the first time. You can't quite remember if it was in Mrs. Pierce's class or my class. Well, that's okay. You can just say that it happened at school. So use your memory as best you can to give me all those details from your memory pocket. But if there's one detail that you forget, that's okay. Just try your best to fill in your plan. So you're going to make your plan who, what, when, and where. That's all you need to do for right now because then you're going to take a picture of your plan or write it on the computer and send it to me. And then next week, I'll help you use your plan to make a super detailed, super amazing, perfect memory pocket story. Oh la la. No, monsieur. Maybe I should do a memory pocket story about when I got mon chat. All right, I'm excited to see your plans and hear all about your very special memories.